From care packages to Christmas presents to gifts, we've all received packages at some point. Moving forward, a lot of the delivery companies are considering using drones to deploy these packages. So today I'm going to show you how you can leverage the power of RAST analytics to actually compute routes for a, a drone package delivery. Firstly, here are address points, a delivery center, and a service route. And for any given day, there are a certain set of packages that need to be delivered. And these are today's delivery points. Everything in blue indicates homes that are close to major roads, hence serviceable using trucks. And reds indicate homes that are farther away from the major roads, hence drone stop candidates. I have a series of raster function templates or image processing chains in here, which will help me with my analysis. Now, it might sound simple. You can launch drones, drop these packages off. However, there are several FAA regulations. So as part of my analysis, I'm going to loop in, I'm going to tie in all of these criteria, or some of these criteria. So firstly, what are the key criteria? Here are just some of them. There are a few environmental factors you have to consider. There's land use types, land cover types, there's trees, then there's winds, overhead lines, ski lifts, electric substations, and then we have to account for human interaction locations, such as hospitals, airports, schools, and no-fly zones. So the next part of my analysis is driving cost surfaces. Here's a custom function template. All of the yellow boxes here indicate raster functions. They're essentially image processing algorithms. And like I said, when you chain them together, you can derive your information products. In this chain, I've accounted for each one of the variables that I just talked about. Running the chain provides me with my cost surface. All of the bright red, bright orange indicates areas that are most costly for the drone to fly through. Hence, it's most suitable not to take these routes. So once I have my cost surface, what's the next step? I derive the optimal paths. So I'll zoom in a little tighter, assuming my, launch, my drone is launched from here at T3. It has to drop off a package here at D1 and catch up or land on my truck here at T11. I need to derive the optimum flight corridor. So I have a function template, and this is my result. Now, as I zoom, pan, navigate around, my processing is done on the fly. It's done at the scale, resolution, and extent of my view. Now, this is useful in most cases. However, in our case, we need to process the entire data set. Create a persistent data set, account for each one of these addresses, and use this further for navigation applications or flight planning purposes. So I'm going to use one of the raster function templates. But this time, I'm going to leverage the power of RAST analytics in my enterprise. I can specify my output, my tags, description. I kick off the process. And essentially, what happens is this distributes the processing to the available cluster of servers. And it creates a persistent data set within my WebGIS. Now, in the interest of time, I've pre-created the data set. And this is what it would look like. All of the address points have been accounted for. And that's essentially processing billions of pixels in a matter of minutes. So I've just accounted for one truck and one drone. I'll hand it over to Rohit, who's going to show you the automation aspects of it. And he'll show you a whole slew of trucks and a collection of drones, a fleet of drones being processed. Over to you, Rohit. Sure, Vinay. Raster Analytics is seamlessly integrated with ArcGIS notebooks and the Python API. I'm going to take those RFTs, those function templates that Vinay shared, bring them in the notebook, and automate them for ever-changing variables like the wind. Now, here are these function templates that Vinay has shared. They are in my WebGIS. And with the RFT class that's coming out in a few weeks in the Python API, 
I can bring them in the notebook, visualize what exactly that function template is doing. I do not need to recreate and code. I can leverage all the work that's gone in in creating them. To invoke them, uh, I simply just call them as a function and save them. And that distributes the task to a cluster of machine using raster analytics and creates an information product. In this case, that's a cost surface that's going to be compute, uh, used for computing those optimum flight corridors. And I can visualize what exactly that cost surface looks like in line and in, in real time in the notebook. Now that we have the cost surface, we want to derive the optimum flight corridors. And that needs a slightly more sophisticated function template that looks like this. It takes in as inputs all the drone and truck delivery points, the cost surface we just computed, and results in a layer, in this case a feature layer, that I'm now visualizing out here in a map. And this shows the, the flight paths or the, the delivery corridors mapped out in red from each truck delivery point where, where the drone is launched to the drone delivery point and back to the truck which has since moved on to a new location. Now I've done it for one route, for one truck, but if I wanted to do it for an entire fleet, all I need to do is add a simple for loop. That results in this, uh, the, the, the routes mapped out for the fleet of drones. So I've combined the, the power, the scalability, and the performance of raster analytics with the automation of Python, and now I can deploy this workflow in production.